straight up the A1 for 25 minutes and you are in cattle country, namely Bedalla, home to the Bedalla Dairy Shed, a real nod to natural. We had a dairy farm and then we decided that we would find it, we'd process milk and get back to making cheese and doing our own milk products. I was going to say, you're doing a whole lot more than just cheese up there. <laughs> So you're making ice cream here on site? Yes. Cheese? Cheese and yogurts wow. and labna and camembert and yes. Without doubt my favourite place here is the milk bar. I always wanted to have a milk bar where you, you know, you've got your own ice cream out and lifted the lids and carry on so um, we, we just, that's what we're going to specialise in, just being a, a milk bar selling our products. What about this beautiful like, retro decor? I'm loving it. <laughs> what do you mean retro? My, my grandparents had one like this. I had one in my house, mate. I would have spent about 15 hours a night sitting at one of these and not leaving until I've finished my greens. <laughs> You're not leaving the table until you finish your veggies. Well, it's going to be a long night. Let's see who wins this battle. You've got to go to work in the morning, me. I'm happy to miss school. No worries at all. Cheers, Mum and Dad. But we didn't have gum leaves, not when I was a boy. We were too poor to have gum leaves. No, that's did, a nice touch. Did you have an oven fire like this? Oh, the time Mum set fire to the kitchen, we did. <laughs> and you can even hand feed the calves. We do this at 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock every day and people can come and participate. They can have, um, hold the bottles and pat the calves and they get... Um, a, a great joy out of um, getting to know different animals. Because they milk everything nowadays, don't they? It's all changed. These days they're milking almonds. Well, you've got to get up at four o'clock in the morning, you get gotta, the almonds You've got to catch them? Yeah, practice. You've got to call them in first. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. If on school holidays, some children will come back three or four times because they've made friends with a particular calf. And um, so they always ask after that one. Well, they have a very long and wonderful life here because after they've, after about four months or three and a half months, they now, then go into these paddocks behind mm. and they cheekily want to come back and visit us all the time. My grandparents are dairy farmers in True. Gippsland. So we'd go up there every couple of months and um, run up and down. They didn't have a rotisserie shed. They just had the standard, you know, cows either side. So we'd put on terry toweling hats and they had these special for all the grandkids because there's heaps of us. They had these plastic aprons that went down to our ankles. We'd run up and down the aisles, putting on suction cups, oh, yes, spraying the, um, I guess it's what, antibacterial or something like that. We had a ball. Uh, without doubt, dairy farming is the most difficult. Yeah. You've got to milk cows twice a day. There's no days off. You've got to work every single day. You can't have holidays. No. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, little guy.